Hello, this is question 34, uh, 2019, October, November, paper 1, 2, the first set of questions. Again, we have got a question from the current university chapter. Uh, so the circle looks a bit, uh, a bit uh, tough, but it is not exactly. So, and we need a lot of uh, algebra here. It's not a numerical problem, it is algebraic problem. So we have to uh, shift uh, here and there. We have the simplification, we have the LCM, and we have to split things up and so on. So it says that two cells with EMFs E1 and E2, so E1 and E2, and inner resistances R1 and R2 are connected to a resistor R as shown. And as uh, you might be aware in our A label, uh, we will denote the cells or power sources with uh, uh, inner resistances as this uh, uh, this box here, which is uh, has been enclosed by dotted lines, dotted lines. So this E1, this R1 belongs to it. It is the inner resistance. So this R2 is the inner resistance of E2. So with this arrangement, uh, we have got inner external resistance R also here. Current is flowing in this direction. So from positive it comes and it goes like this. The terminal PD across cell 1 is 0. So when we do like this, the terminal PD here, the terminal PD here across this thing is 0. So this is V1 equal to 0, equal to 0 during this arrangement. Now with that, uh, uh, with that condition, we have to find which expression gives the resistance R for resistor R. So we have to find a value for R. So one thing that we have to remember is the expression for the terminal PD in, a, in any arrangement is equal to V1 is equal to E minus I into let us say V is equal to V terminal we often say as E minus I into R. So R is the uh, inter resistance of the source. So Vt and it is also is equal to I into R. So either I into X resistance or either like this. So we let us ap apply the same formula here. So what it says is the terminal PD across cell 1 is 0. So that means this terminal PD, the PD across this thing is equal to 0. So that means let me write it here V1 is equal to 0. Yes, it is okay. And this V1 is also equal to also equal to E1. This is E1, E1 minus current in the circuit into its inner resistance. So I am applying the same thing here. V1 is equal to its EMF minus the current into its own internal resistance. So from there we have 0 equal to this much which gives me gives me E1 is equal to I into R1 and I is equal to E1 by R1 equation number 1. So with this expression gave me uh, this uh, I is equal to E1 by R1. Now let us go for the whole circuit. For the whole circuit what you have is the total EMF E which is equal to equal to E1 plus E2 here, E1 plus E2 here it is equal to current into total resistance in the circuit. So sum of EMFs is equal to sum of the potential differences. It is a simple, simple course of law. So that will be equal to, so here I will have the total EMF will be equal to sum of these two because both of them are in the same direction the plus will be plus is acting in the same direction. So that is why I must have E1 plus E2. E1 plus E2 will be equal to current into total resistance in the circuit. So total resistance here is R1 plus this R plus this R2. And there are many, many pupils uh, of mine and also uh, several of them inquired, uh, inquired in, uh, in my channel also that aren't they in parallel? No, they are not in parallel. In order to be resistances in parallel, there should be current division. There should have been the charges should have gone through different paths. But here, all of them are in the same path. There is no way they can distribute into into other other, other ways. So that's why there is series. So we must have the total is R1 plus R2 plus R. So I into R1 plus R2 plus this whole R. So now what you have to do is we have to find the value for this R. So let me uh, use this I equal to this much equal to E1 by R1 then R1 plus R2 plus big R. So this R comes here. So when it comes here it will be equal to E1 R1 plus E2 R1 equal to multiply this it will be E1 R1 plus E1 R2 plus E1 into R. So now this and this goes this and this goes. What remains here is, I will shift it here, so R E2 R1 minus E1 R2 will be equal to E1 into R and I need this uh, 
expression for this uh, r so that's why i'll do like this r is equal to e2 r1 minus e1 r2 whole divided this e1 so with that i can search for the choices which one is correct so if i go through the choices i think uh, yeah choice one is correct it's because e2 r1 minus e1 r2 by whole e1 so this is correct and all odds are not correct so pretty uh, pretty short sweet uh, smooth type of algebra used to solve this problem